let's do an update. The garden for July. So we are about two weeks after putting our fertilizers on. You can see the pepper plants have definitely grown a lot. We got all the little baby peppers, the bell peppers growing. We got a couple bell peppers that are turning orange under there. We got a lot of little banana peppers. We got more bell peppers in there growing. That plant is doing very well. We have what's supposed to be a mild jalapeno, but it's turning red. So I guess we'll pick it. We got some peppers here. We got like three of them on the plant. Three, four of them there. So definitely time to harvest. I've already watered this evening, so you'll see quite a bit of wet going on, but that's because I've watered. All kinds of flowers. All kinds of peppers. Looking really, really good. More banana peppers. That one's got a few leaves that are sick. We might need to trim some of them off. There are all those peppers again. We've had a lot of cool weather the last two weeks, at least for here, so the carrots have actually really come on. Really come on, so we'll see. We got our little onions under there. Little onions growing. Next, the okra. Guys, y'all see how tall this okra's gotten? Super tall. Okra plants in there. We got okra flowers. We got okra over there. We got okra all throughout there. Definitely time to pick some tonight. A couple of them. That's a pretty tall one. We'll need to grab. And yeah, have some okra soon. There's a large one. Make up some fried okra. My mother in law's been wanting some. We keep eating it when we make it so. Um, I'm going to have to sneak some, hide some from the kids. Look at that. Look at that. That is a large piece of okra. We have my little green bean bush that we bought. It, it put some green beans out and then it almost tried to die on us, but it's coming, trying to come back. There's a few little blooms on it. I need to, again, get in there, clean things out. But I don't know, we'll see. The parsley's still going good. We come out and pinch some off every now and then when we need some. Tomatoes are hit and miss. We had some tomatoes do well. Some of them are growing a little better over here, the plants. But I do have a mess in there. I just have tomatoes. I need to come in and thin them out a little, prop them up. Got flowers though, as you can see. Got blooms on that one. Let's get you around here. We actually have, that one needs to be picked. several several little green ones but you can also see down here where the plant had been dying off a little we got a couple spots trying to grow down here which is good good new green growth Let's see I knew I saw a tomato where's that got these two here they're already blushing color so we're gonna go ahead and pick them off let them turn the rest of the way in the house Nice, pretty green one. 
Overall, tomatoes have done pretty decent for the cherry variety. My larger ones, meh, they've been hit and miss. Uh, but we're learning, we're practicing, we're eating, we're getting some food. My cucumber plant here, we had a couple more down there. I went ahead and pulled them out because they were dying off. As you can see, these are getting pretty crunchy, crispy. But I didn't want to cut them all off because there are some green pieces down there that are actually trying to bloom back out and be pretty. So I'm not sure what got them. I don't know if it was a fertilizer I got it, there's something in the air, or maybe I watered and I watered on them. But look, there are two, oh, see if it'll zoom, there you go. Two little cucumbers ready to be pollinated. I saw um, bees around yesterday when I was mowing. So they look pretty rough, but I'm not giving up on them just yet. There's two more cucumber babies. Here are my green beans that I planted from seed. As you can see, um, that didn't make it. And then there was one right here. Uh, it didn't make it. They tried to die off a little. But as you can see, there are some dark green leaves coming back. So again, I'm not sure what got them or what, what's going on. But it's our first year to grow them. And... You know, we're learning. We really don't have much harvest for the green beans, but we, you know, we'll keep at it and see what we can do. We got more onions. Some of them are working, but we've had a few bugs get in them, eat them up. As you can see right there, we got some caterpillar stuff trying to eat. So trying to keep bugs off of them have been, been interesting. As I said in our June update, our zucchini squash, yellow golden zucchini, have been uh, probably the best producers of everything this year. And this one right here, we're gonna go ahead and take it. Oh, arm out of the way. I can't grab that and twist it while hold this at the same time. There we go. Pretty good. And we'll let those go. Oh, those onions smell really good. We got another one. They'll probably be ready for tomorrow harvest. And then some more over there. And these are our little squash that we planted mid-season. We did harvest one off of this already. Let's see, there's a baby one in there. Are there are two baby ones. There's another one down in there, isn't there? There's another one down deep in there. And then there are flowers over here, so that's good. Good sign. Maybe we'll have some fall squash. These are the few onions we planted back in the fall. They're growing pretty good. We've harvested a few of them here and there just to have a little onion and a meal. But guys and gals, that's our update for July. Um, our putting fertilize on everything, feeding the dirt so the plants could eat it has definitely helped out. Everything's growing. The cooler weather the last two weeks here in Texas have been amazing. So thanks for watching.